What's going on, people? How you doing? This is TK Pryor coming at you. I don't have the Facebook Live capability. That's why I do individual videos. But I wanted to come at you guys with a little bit of inspiration. You know, I see a lot of people trying to encourage others to participate in money outside of paper. And I see a lot of people who don't listen, don't see the need. I had somebody inbox me a few minutes ago, and they kept saying... Uh, they don't see a need and they don't have the money to diversify. <laughs> and I think this is a reoccurring theme with a lot of people. Um, the writings on the wall, fiat or paper money is losing value and is falling under more austerity measures. But people are not willing to do anything about it. It's an individual decision to... Uh, buy financial insurance and the real question is can you afford not to have financial insurance it's better to have insurance for your money and not need it than it's to run into a situation where you need financial insurance and you don't have it you know nobody believes the dollar is going to crash because television says that all we're going to do is keep printing money. And as long as we can print money, we're going to be okay. No one's paying attention to the global financial market that's all interconnected where uh, other countries are not using the dollar. And those dollars coming back to the U.S. is going to create a Cyprus slash Zimbabwe type hyperinflation environment. So if you wait and you're not prepared and you don't have assets outside of paper money, you're going to be in trouble. You know, you're going to find yourself in a bad way. And people just do not believe that because no matter how much encouragement I give or anybody gives, uh, people don't act. So I always think about to myself, I think, what is the heart of a leader in terms of successfully getting people to do something that's beneficial for their financial future. You know, if you're talking about something negative, people will jump on that bandwagon in a New York second. Uh, whether it's a family member or it's a complete stranger, if it has no value, people are willing to sign up. But if it's financial insurance that put you in a different financial category, get you out of poverty and opens the door to financial freedom, they're like, eh, what the hell are you talking about? You know, we're all programmed to think slave master. The only way you can get money is from a job. Job is just over broke. And the paper money itself is just not the way to survive in the 21st century. If you want to survive in this new global economy, what you have to do is have assets that have absolutely nothing to do with paper you really have to get into gold money silver money and cryptocurrency now some people are in the belief and i don't even want to get too heavy into the disbelief of cryptocurrency because some people feel like digital money is not money but nine out of every ten dollar is already digital believe it or not we live in a cashless society because uh 90 of money is transmitted electronically Ones and zeros on a computer is all that your paper money truly is. And I've given the example of calling my bank and having them fix an electronic error over the phone by somebody else typing some ones and zeros in a computer within the banking system and my account adjust. So that representation of an IOU note that you see in your a fractional reserve banking system, your central banking, is nothing but a computer punch. So to switch to physical, tangible assets that is considered property, if you get it from a private mint and you generate it through cryptocurrency, then it's considered property of which you own you're no longer the beneficiary or the bearer. You can set policy because you become your own bank. Now, it's surprising to me that a lot of people don't see the need to do that. 
nor are they willing to accept the personal responsibility in making that decision. A couple other people in the business space talk about it in terms of being scared to take possession of your money. You're used to being spoon-fed from somebody else, so you're not willing to take ownership of your own financial future. It's not your fault. You've been conditioned and programmed that way. But once you realize it, the fact that you have Stockholm Syndrome and you won't let go of it is the surprising part to me. So anyone who chooses not to diversify out of paper is making a personal decision to fail. Because when you are offering a product that is money and a byproduct that is financial insurance, it only helps the person that participates in it, (laughs) which is an individual choice. So you saying no doesn't hurt anyone but you. And I want everybody to realize that, that when you say no to money, it only hurts you. So all these people that are on uh, Facebook encouraging you to participate in gold money, silver money, and cryptocurrency are not doing it for themselves. They, 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 when you, when I participate in alternative currency, I am building my own bank. So by me concentrating on my own efforts, my own stacking, my own accumulation, it only puts me in a better financial position than the people who only have paper. So I don't have to say anything to anybody. I think a lot of us do these videos because we want to help other people. We want some people who have never been exposed to the information of currency, fiat currency declining and alternative currency going up. So it's an option to better position yourself and give you uh, your, your future a chance to grow because as fiat money goes down, alternative currency goes up. Gold money, silver money, and cryptocurrency. Now, I talk about diversification internationally. I talk about not having all your eggs in one basket. I actually talk about diversification in its true nature in terms of having higher forms of money and getting away from the devaluing paper. So the encouragement point here is to somehow reach out to, if there's anyone out there with common sense left, to realize that fractional reserve banking is a Ponzi scheme that the participants within the international scale are leaving. So it's like the musical chair. You don't want to be the last one still running around without a seat. What is the new seat? The new seat is tangible money, physical assets, international diversifications, uh, financial insurance, a hedge against inflation, a asset protection module that allows you to grow with, not be doomed against. So this is TK Pryor coming at you. I hope that I can help somebody. My intent in all my videos is to get you to make that financial decision. And the way I recruit is I try to show examples of what I've already done in my life, what I've already accomplished in terms of setting up an international bank account. So when you see my post, it's not about boasting. It's about showing you a process. And giving you enough information so that if you decide to implement that process for your own life, you've seen it, you've experienced it, and it's not new to you anymore. It's all about changing your mindset, changing your decisions, and creating better decisions today that create a future that you want, a lifestyle that you want. And that lifestyle cannot come from paper money.